We all know that hockey is Canada's favorite game, and I can't think of a better afternoon than raising money for a local charity and playing some hockey with your favorite NHL star. We're here at the Gale Centre in Niagara Falls for the fifth annual Rankin Celebrity Ice Cup. Well, this year we are proud to announce, actually, you're the first ones to know publicly, uh, we've raised $266,000, which is our final number, so we're very, very excited. Uh, we were optimistic at 200000 and when we hit the 250 mark, we realized that we made over a million dollars in five years, so we are absolutely delighted. Uh, this year we have two extra teams uh, playing, so we have 18 teams in total, which kind of gave us that elevated level to get to 266. So many great uh, people that I see come back every year that want to play with the players as well. Absolutely. So with our fifth year, we have some of the, some people that have been with us for five years, like Rankin Construction, City of St. Catherine, City of Niagara Falls, uh, Mountain View, Home. So these are sort of the intrinsic people in Niagara, those companies that have stayed with us and, and really supported us throughout the years. What does it mean to Rankin to be involved in something like this, raising money for the community? Well, the Shaver Hospital is really special to us. Uh, they do a lot of remedial uh, work for all the uh, people that have strokes and whatever, uh, and it's uh, really good for the community, and uh, we just uh, like what, uh, what they do. And who did you decide? I mean, the top fundraiser can choose whoever they want in the draft here, the all-star draft. Who did you choose? Uh, we chose uh, St. Catherine's native, uh, John Scott. Uh, all the guys on the team, you know, solicited sponsorships and uh, some of our subcontractors and trades definitely came through. Well, here we are at another, basically another all-star game and you're one of the big picks again. I was surprisingly, I went number one overall. Rankin, who my dad and brother worked for, it kind of worked out where they got the first pick and they just picked me, which is great. Now you're a local guy, I didn't know you were local from the area. Yeah, grew up in St. Catharines, played my junior hockey here, my minor hockey here, so it's nice to come back. My dad and brother work for Rankin, and my mom's here, everybody's kind of hanging out, so we're making a big family affair here at the rink. Now you got a few tricks out there today to get a couple of goals in there? Zero tricks, um, no. I think anybody who's watched me play know I have zero tricks, but you know, I just try to get the guys some goals, some points. It's not about me, it's about the guys I'm playing with, so. We, uh, we try to make it fun for them, and it's just a great event. Uh, what are you doing uh, now as far as hockey? As far as hockey, um, uh, beer league Sunday nights with my friends, uh, which is fairly competitive. It's fun, but I do charity events every once in a while. Every time there's a good you know, a cause, I'll, I'll try to make my way out, and that's why the Hotel Du Shaver event. I've never been, but luckily I was invited this, this year. And guys I went to high school with, coaches who I work with, the guy who works in the sporting goods store is my water boy for the Thor Blackhawks. So it's just like a coming home. It's so funny how all these people, you, you grew up with them and uh, it's, it's weird to see them 20 years later. It's, it's kind of cool. Now you were drafted to the St. Catherine Saints team with Mayor Walter Senzik from St. Catharines. What's that like? Yeah, it's fun. You know, when he first drafted me, I didn't really know. And then he kind of told me, yeah, I'm the mayor here. I was like, oh, okay, so do I behave or do I? Uh, <laughs> so anyways, but uh, no, he's good. He's expecting a lot of me and I'm trying my best. The main thing is to have fun. And, uh, you know, that's what it's all about, you know, raising money, having a good time. And uh, that's what we're doing. Now, obviously a great event that's going to continue and you've raised a lot of money over the years. Tell us how this is going to help in the community. So all of the money goes towards purchasing equipment needs for Hotel Du Shaver Hospital. Uh, we're located just across from Brock University. The great thing about us is we service the entire Niagara region. Uh, so all 466,000 residents across the region. So it could be things like uh, electric beds, vital signs monitors, a lot of patient care areas that needing needs upgrade. We cover all the equipment needs that, that they need. Typically an ask from the hospital is roughly around $850,000 a year, so it's quite a feat and the community really comes together and helps us purchase all of those necessities for the hospital. Thanks to the NHL superstars and some great members of the community, over $266,000 was raised for the Hotel Du Shaver, their best year yet. Reporting for The Source, I'm Bob Slapshot Romeo.